Well, there have been a lot of reports about uh, smoke-free workplace policies reducing the incidence of heart attacks. But we wanted to study this in a very rigorous way in Olmstead County, which is one of the few places on earth that you can study incidence of any disease because we have all the medical records on all the people in Olmstead County over time. So we're able to capture all of those data and, and put them into a meaningful form. This is probably the most rigorous study that's ever been done to test whether or not smoke-free workplace policies work uh, in reducing heart attacks. So from 18 months before the policy began to 18 months after the policy was put into place, the incidence of heart attacks went down by 33 percent. Nothing else changed in the community at that time. Uh, high blood pressure stayed about the same, high cholesterol stayed about the same, diabetes actually went up, obesity went up. Uh, but So the main thing that changed was the smoke-free workplace policy. We also tested uh, to see if sudden cardiac death was affected. It did go down, but it did not achieve statistical significance. So it went down by 17 percent, but because the sample size was relatively small, it did not achieve statistical significance. So the main finding of this study is the reduction in heart attacks by 33 percent. There have been several studies in other places in the United States, and probably the strongest study besides this one was in Scotland, where they observed a reduction in heart attacks, but they didn't have all the medical data like we have. We have a, an advantage in Olmstead County because we have all the medical records for all the people over a long period of time. So there are other studies, but I would consider to be this the, the, the most solid evidence to date. And it really should end any debate or discussion about this. Smoke-free workplaces promote health in a lot of different ways, but specifically they reduce the chances of having a heart attack, and that's really very important. The bottom line is that everyone should avoid exposure to secondhand smoke, but specifically people with known heart disease, any type of coronary disease, should avoid all contact with secondhand smoke because it's too dangerous. What we know about smoke-free workplace policies is they reduce the, the smoking among people who continue to smoke, they encourage people to stop smoking, and they reduce the chances of your child or grandchild ever starting. So smoke-free workplaces not only have an effect on heart attacks, but they also have an effect on smoking rates, and that's all very positive.